Jones. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to crack my beer open. Happy Friday. Red leather, yellow leather. Hookah versus cigar. Most people, they put a blanket term over all of tobacco products. And we're here to talk about the differences of two tobacco products that we have extensive experience with. We're on Team Cigar. We're on Team Cigar. But when it comes to hookah, we started smoking hookah about the same time that we started smoking cigars. To naive child eyes, this looks like some sort of hardcore drug. First time I smoked a hookah, yeah, I had some like real fears and reservations about can I look my mom in the eye and say I don't do drugs? Oh, so this is what opium din looks like. <laughs> but again, I was super naive and silly. <laughs> That quickly went away after my first experience with hookah. How is it legal? I don't know, man. <laughs> a cigar seems pretty straightforward. It looks like just a bigger, more natural, rugged cigarette. Hookah versus cigars. A hobby or is it a bad habit? I would say a habit is something that you can't stop doing. It's become built into your daily routine. If you stop doing it, you will have physical withdrawals because your body has become dependent on a chemical. I used to smoke one cigar a day when I was in college, mostly because I was studying a lot. But when I moved to Korea, I didn't bring my humidor and I didn't have access to cigars that I could afford. Most of the cigars in Korea are Cubans and you have to buy them from a tobacco store. One at a time and they're at least $20. And I was like, I don't have money for that. I was used to buying them in bulk online in America. I was getting them like $3 per stick box of Nicolibres. They're delicious, especially if you age them six months. But yeah, $2 a stick for Nicolibre. When I came to Korea and I stopped smoking cigars for a year, I didn't feel any withdrawals at all. I clearly wasn't addicted to cigars. What makes a habit is something that you can't really quit. What makes a hobby is something that you simply enjoy doing, but you could quit anytime. Cigars, I would say, is definitely a hobby. It would take quite the effort to get a chemical dependence on cigars. And I would say the exact same thing with hookah. If you're the type that gets addicted to hookah, I'm going to have an inkling of just skepticism because there are people who could get addicted to anything. There are people with addictive personalities. Next thing, the origin of cigars versus the origin of hookah. The cliff notes, very broad strokes, the origin of cigars is from Cuba the Bahamas and Central America, the people all over North and South America smoked tobacco or used it for like incense burning. But tobacco was introduced to Europe and Asia later after Christopher Columbus came to the New World and brought tobacco back with him. The hookah that we know today, that shape and that form of smoking, that originated in India somewhere around the 1500s and then it was popularized through the Ottoman Empire and that's why it became very widespread in uh, Islamic countries and that's why it's very widespread in Islamic countries today. Also, so, a hookah is commonly referred to as a water pipe. It's pretty straightforward why. The glass bowl itself was originally called shisha and so that's another term, another word you commonly hear for a hookah is shisha. Now, it's become a common misconception in America to refer to the tobacco in hookah is called shisha. Uh, I used to think this for years. Me too. It's actually just the whole apparatus and the glass bowl specifically. I haven't discovered a, a specific name for the tobacco in hookah. Everything I look up just says it's hookah tobacco so or flavored tobacco. So you smoke flavored tobacco out of a hookah. The tobacco in cigars is just pure tobacco leaves. There's different types of apples, there's different types of wine grapes, there's different types of tobacco leaves. There's a blender and they come up with a blend. So you need a combination of leaves that burn well versus leaves that taste good so you have a flavor profile that's delicious. And complex. And complex. Hookah tobacco, they mix it with a molasses and then there's all kinds of additional artificial flavoring. So you can get every single flavor you can think of in a hookah. Gummy bear, cardamom. Cardamom is a delicious spice. You should definitely look for cardamom. Currently we're smoking mint. Moving on to the next topic. How do you smoke a hookah? How do you smoke a cigar? A cigar, you light and you only puff on it. You keep the smoke strictly in your mouth. Hookah, and this seems to be more of a debate. I thought it was pretty cut and dry. I think it is cut and dry for people who know what they're talking about. You're supposed to inhale 
the hookah tobacco. Some people, they're like terrified of tobacco, so they don't inhale it. They just get the, the flavor in their mouth. But I would say the people who know what they're doing, the people who work in hookah bars, they inhale it. This apparatus was made to cool the smoke. You're not burning the tobacco as you are with burning a cigar. When you're smoking a hookah, put hot coals on top, it just bakes the tobacco, creating smoke from the tobacco at, a, at the lowest temperature possible. Then that smoke is going through a long cylinder. The taller the hookah, they say the cooler the smoke will be. Then it goes into water. You can also filter through milk, like juice, vodka. juice, vodka. It'll change the flavor profile. And then it goes all the way through a hose. This is all designed to keep the smoke cool so that you can inhale it comfortably. So what are the effects of cigars versus the effects of hookah. The ideal effect of a cigar smoking session, a very minor nicotine buzz. The way you rate a cigar is, well, first construction, like how well can you smoke it? But then secondly, flavor and aroma. Part of a rating will be to characterize how strong a cigar is, how much of a nicotine buzz you'll get from it but it's not gonna make it better or worse. The whole point is to keep things calm and relaxing with maybe a very minor nicotine buzz. The nicotine buzz you get from a cigar is more of a brain high, like a cup of coffee, like a little bit more quick. Uh, as opposed to a hookah, if you take a big, big pull, you get a more of a body high. Calm, relaxing, you just wanna sink into your chair, relax and chill. I wouldn't really smoke a hookah while I'm like, studying for a final. I, I could smoke a cigar while I'm like studying. Also, when speaking of the effects, when you're smoking a hookah, you inhale and you're gonna inhale potentially some carcinogen chemicals uh, involved in the coals, as well as in the additives of the flavoring of the tobacco. Cigars, it's all natural and you don't inhale. The strongest correlations with negative health effects when smoking are with products that you inhale. And that's why pipe smoking and cigar smoking stands as the least detrimental to your health. Unfortunately, that doesn't apply to hookah because you do inhale it. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's healthy for you, but I'll say if you do it once in a while as a social thing, you're probably gonna be okay. The taste differences between a cigar and a hookah. Anybody can jump into a hookah and say, wow, that tastes like mint or that tastes like orange. It tastes good, but there's not a learning curve for a cigar, the hobby is like a slow ongoing journey to, to find the nuanced flavors, all the layers. You don't really get that with the hookah. It's very one dimensional, but it's still good. Prep time and just like kind of like workload. For a hookah, it takes a fair bit of prep. I like to clean the hookah thoroughly once before I smoke and after I smoke, or at least the hose. I like to clean the hose twice. Assemble the hookah, fill the water, you gotta pack the bowl. You want the right amount of heat for the coals. You don't want too many coals. As you're enjoying it, you don't want it to get too hot. You're gonna need to use your tongs, move the coals around, change the bowl out, two bowls, three bowls, depending on how many people are smoking. There's a lot of tinkering. And then when you're finished, you have to clean it, let it dry, and then pack it all away somewhere. A hookah is a lot more of a hassle. A cigar, snip the, the top, you toast it, you light it, you puff away, ash it into a bowl. When you're done, throw it away, clean the bowl, and you're done. Definitely hookah is a lot more work than a cigar. Everybody that has a hookah at their house also has burn holes in their carpet or burn holes into their tables. Yeah. If you could see here, there's nothing keeping these coals down, and there is attached a giant hose to the thing. Now this hose comes off, but in a social setting, especially if people are drinking, it's very easy for someone to pull the hose. It just needs to fall enough for the coals, the burning hot coals to fall on the ground, fall on your carpet, and therefore you get burn marks. Yeah. That's why when I bought my hookah, I looked for something with a wide flat base that would be harder to knock over. And happily, it's never happened in my house, but I am quite the exception. You get some drunk friends and it'll happen. When you drop a cigar, it's gonna land flat on the ground and whereas the cherry is not gonna be directly in the carpet and it's not gonna be as hot. So you might have an ash pile that you gotta clean up, but you're not gonna get anywhere near the same kind of burn marks. All right, moving on to smell. How off-putting it is. Yeah, aroma, please. Aroma, my bad. Let's edit that out for sure. Aroma, <laughs> I said aroma. We all have girlfriends, we all have roommates. 
sometimes they don't enjoy the smell of your hobby. The aroma off of a cigar is stronger. You definitely don't want to hotbox a cigar. Your eyes are gonna be all scratchy. You're gonna get a little bit woozy. You want ventilation or you want to smoke outside. But with a hookah, everybody seems to not really be bothered. It smells great, usually a pleasant aroma that's flavored like mango. Aroma that, you know, we could all get behind. There isn't really a smoke issue because most of what you're blowing out isn't smoke. Most of it is actually steam. The molasses is turning from a liquid to a gas. It's not too off-putting to your girlfriend or to your roommate, the basic people who don't love the smell of a good cigar. I like my apartment to smell like yeah. a cigar. When I walk into my apartment and it smells like cigar, I'm like, it smells good. Going back to the origin part, some people were using it just as incense. So moving on to price, what's going to be more detrimental to your bank account? Well, it depends where you are in the world. For the most part, though, cigars are going to be more expensive. They are handmade premium products, unless you're getting some gas station, $2 machine rolled bullcrap. You're also talking about aging and storing and all that kind of things. Did you say bullcrap? What are we? Okay. Yeah. Middle school. Malarkey fucking oh. really grinds my gears. Oh, I... Hookah, you're going to pay a lot up front. Most people get like anywhere between $70 hookah to like a $200 hookah. Anything above that. Maybe you're only going to see it like high-end hookah lounges. I got some friends that are really into hookahs, smoking 200 plus dollar hookahs. They smoke just as good as this one, quality brand, but I still got it for under a hundred bucks. When it comes to hookah tobacco, it's pretty cheap. When it comes to cigars, you're going to have to pay upfront costs for the humidor if you want to like get into having a collection and aging and storing your own cigars. Also, each individual cigar is a little bit pricey, especially if you're buying them one at a time at a cigar shop. So I would say hookah wins in this category. Hookah's cheaper. Final thoughts. Hookah is a little bit more inviting for the average person and cigars are more for cigar enthusiasts, but they're both great social things to do. Or you could smoke a cigar by yourself. You could do that with a hookah too, but man, it's a little bit too much work for me. Tell your yeah. story. Odd situation in my fraternity house. I'm situated between two neighbors. One neighbor is a cigarette smoker. The other is an avid hookah smoker. And I was an avid cigar smoker. Every single morning, I would wake up and I would hear the cigarette smoker coughing and hacking in his bedroom a 20 year old it's not like he's a lifetime user never heard anything from this hookah smoker even though he smoked hookah every single day my money's on he's still in the right health camp that's 150 percent bro science for you guys enjoy your hookahs enjoy your cigars check out our other videos we do podcasts we do travel videos we do cigar reviews if there's anything else you want us to cover in future videos, be sure to leave us a comment. If you found this video helpful and informative, well, subscribe and like. Also, check us out on Instagram. We're living it up here in Korea, keeping it real. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Non